65 million years ago, the age of the dinosaurs is over. The Cretaceous period came to a truly apocalyptic end when the 10 kilometer wide meteor slammed into the Gulf of Mexico with the power of 10 billion atomic bombs. The blast wave it created wiped out countless ecosystems and the ceaseless changes to the climate caused the extinction of over 65% of life on Earth. It has been one year since the meteor's impact, and in northern Canada, the area seems to be pulled straight out of an ashen hell. The debris thrown into the atmosphere block most of the sun's rays, and plant life is struggling to grow. Most animals left to eat them that didn't die in the blast wave have since starved or succumbed to other health issues. Some carnivores survived on the mass amount of bodies left behind. However, all of them have since rotted or burnt away, and now the great dinosaurs of the Cretaceous are nowhere to be seen. In fact, almost all species over 10 kilograms will go extinct, with only a few small survivors clinging on to this dying world. Not all dinosaurs are gone yet, however. Some still soldier on, stubbornly fighting for survival in this world of ash and darkness. A male troodontid, only a meter long, emerges from his burrow. He is usually a nocturnal hunter, however it is difficult to tell when it is night or day, with the sky choked with ash. Before the asteroid hit, his life was not easy, as his species was fairly low on the food chain, and this region of Canada used to be full of huge herbivores. But no longer. It has been months since he's even seen a dinosaur larger than himself. Alive, that is. Now life is even harder. He struggles to find anything to eat, and he is constantly in bad health. The water is polluted, and even the air he breathes is sickening. Still, he has to venture out and hunt. Prey isn't exactly going to come to him. He is aided by his massive eyes that normally would be used to see in the dim moonlight, but now help him to see in the constant twilight the world seems embedded in. Troodon are also very intelligent. They have the largest brain-to-body size of any dinosaur, and so when the going gets tough, he usually has a backup plan in order to survive. But it has been almost a year. A year in a desolate world, spending each day on the brink of death. He continues to search through what remains of his home, but can't find anything. No reptiles, no mammals, no birds. Not even the corpse of some unfortunate creature that finally succumbed to illness. As he slowly walks back to his burrow, he is now shivering. His feathers have begun to fade or fall off his body. His small burrow provides some shelter from the elements but storm clouds are gathering. These are not normal storms. They have been corrupted by the mass amount of debris caught in the atmosphere, and their violent lightning strikes cause planet-wide fires, burning what little vegetation that is able to grow. The small carnival forces himself to sleep, and he dreams. He dreams of a time when the forest was lush and green, when it was filled with the calls of birds and herds of dinosaurs marched across the landscape. A time when he would feed on the carcasses left behind by the larger predators. A time that was hard, but never this hard. A time before his home and his world was changed forever. It took hundreds of thousands of years for the earth to even begin to recover. And by then, all of the non-avian dinosaurs had vanished. Their legacy, only a memory. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be breaking down possibly the most intelligent dinosaur that ever lived, Troodon. Troodon was a small theropod dinosaur that belonged to the Troodontid family. It was one of the first dinosaurs discovered in North America in the year 1855, though it was thought to be a lizard until 1877. Many fossils were once attributed to Troodon. However, over the years, most of these fossils have been found out to be other species, so now we know Troodon mostly from its teeth. The name Troodon means wounded tooth, 
This refers to the apically orientated serrations that the teeth bear. These are very different from most carnivorous dinosaurs, and it was first proposed that Troodon would bite into a target and then retreat, leaving the victim with deep wounds. Their teeth are quite similar to some herbivorous dinosaurs, meaning that it could have been omnivorous. Studies on the wear patterns of the teeth show that it was eating soft food, so it didn't chew bones or rough plant items, and likely ate soft meat most of the time. In fact, a fossilized pellet that may have belonged to Troodon shows that it ate small mammals. At around 2.4 meters in length, 90 centimeters high, and 50 kilograms in weight, Troodon was a small predator, and likely also ate small reptiles, dinosaur hatchlings, and scavenged the kills of larger dinosaurs. Interestingly, Troodon found in more northern regions are larger than their southern brethren. This is an example of Bergman's rule, which basically states that members of the same species will be larger in colder regions and smaller in warmer ones. Troodon is closely related to dromaeosaurs, such as Velociraptor, Utahraptor, and Achillobator. They share the same sickle-like toe, which was likely used to pin small prey and hold meat in place as it fed. The main difference is that troodontids are thinner, with longer necks and usually narrower skulls. Though no proof of it having feathers exists, it's highly likely as many of its relatives had them, and they would have been very beneficial in its cold environment that it lived in. Troodon is relatively well known for two reasons. The first being its massive eyes. These were forward-facing, giving it binocular vision, and would have been excellent help for when it hunted at night, but also during the long winters near the poles, where the sun wouldn't rise for months. If we imagine that Troodon had vision similar to a modern bird of prey, it would have had no trouble finding small animals, even in the darkest winters. The second reason is its intelligence. Troodon had the largest brain to body size of any dinosaur, and is often thought to have been the most intelligent dinosaur that ever lived, with estimates putting it as high as a fox's intelligence. As it's closely related to birds, it may have been as smart as parrots or corvids, possibly meaning it used basic tools, like grabbing sticks to manipulate objects. It lived around 77 million years ago, and would have shared its environment with species such as Edmontosaurus, Pachyrhinosaurus, Edmontonia, and Albertosaurus. As I said earlier, Troodon is fairly well known amongst the general public, However, I'd like to examine one of its most extreme appearances in Jurassic Park The Game, a soft cannon video game. Their physical design is definitely meant for horror, with the pale eyes and the teeth seeming to go past the jaws. They also gave it a venomous bite. This isn't too extreme, but the behavior of laying eggs in their paralyzed victims, a behavior only seen in some insects, was a bit far for me. Sure, they have the excuse of having multiple animals' DNAs combined into the one animal, but it's clear that they wanted this species to be as horrifying as possible. On another hand, I'll give them credit for thinking outside the box and being creative. It's a cool design, even if it looks quite alien. But what do you think of Troodon? Do you like hearing more about the smaller predatory dinosaurs? And what lesser-known extinct creature would you like me to cover in a future episode? Until next time, thank you for watching.